hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is rebecca in this video we are going to be looking at chapter 16 of cambridge igcc ict practical and we are going to look at the topic graphs and charts okay so for this chapter we have um, three types of charts that we'll be working with we have the pie chart bar chart and we have line graph okay so in what case would you use a pie chart you would use a pie chart when the question says to compare the percentage values okay that's when you would use pie charts for bar charts you would use bar charts when you want to show the difference between different things okay and for line graph so we use line graphs when we want to um, plot trends between two variables okay we want to plot trends we want to show the trends between two variables okay so that is when we use line graphs task 16a open the file employees.csv okay so we need to open the file employee.csv okay so this is the table we'll be working with okay so it says this shows the job types the number of employees with that job type and the percentage of the employees with that job type create an appropriate graph okay so an appropriate graph for this would be a bar chart okay or chart to show the number of employees with that job type okay so we need to create a graph okay to show the number of employee with the job title so we are only making use of this data okay so to do that we are going to select the data and then click on insert then we choose the 2d um, the cluster column okay so this is it okay we can see the bars and the job title is below and um, the okay we have the number of staffs on the left okay so we can have the the chart title okay as number of staff okay so that's it for task 16a task 16b open the file employees.csv okay employee.csv okay so this is the file and it says create an appropriate graph or chart to show the percentage of employees with that job type okay so um, because we are making use of percentage data so it has to be pie chart okay so for the graph we only need to use um, the job title and the percentage okay so I'm going to select the job title and then I will click on control and then select the percentage then I will go to insert and then for the chart click on the drop down and then choose the first 2d pi okay so that's it okay that's how to insert a pie chart task 16c open the file rainfall.csv okay create an appropriate graph or chart to show a comparison of the monthly data for towns a and b okay so this is the file okay and um, we have the data that shows the dates and the rainfall okay we are only dealing with um, rainfall for town a and b okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all the data and then of course click insert and then um the best chart for it will be a line graph okay so and i'll choose this 2d okay so then i'm going to have the chart title okay so the chart title would be rainfall in millimeters okay so that's it for task 
16c. Okay, I'm going to save the file as task 16c. Task 16D. Open the file saved in Task 16A and add appropriate chart labels. Okay. Okay, so we want to have labels. So we just click on the chart, click on this plus, and then you click on the check the axis title. Okay, so we want to have labels. So this would be number of staffs. Okay, number of staffs. Okay, um, this label, I think it was incorrect. So it's supposed to be um, number of staff in, in each job type. Okay, so for this axis, we, we label it as the job type. Okay, job type. Okay, and that's it. Task 16E. Open the chart saved in Task 16B. Okay, so we need to open the chart, the Task 16B. Okay, display all sector labels and percentage values on the charts. Okay, display all sector labels. Okay, all sector labels. Okay, so I'm going to make it um, data call out. Okay, display all sector labels. Okay, that's it. Okay, display all sector labels and percentage values. Okay, yeah, the values are in percentage. Then it says um do not display a legend okay we don't want to display a legend so we want to remove this okay you can just right click and delete okay that's it and then ex extract the sector for engineers make this sector red okay we want to extract the sector for engineer this sector okay so you can see when i clicked on this all the charts are selected if i drag it's going to drag um take all out okay so the right way is make sure you when you use double select okay when you double select you will see that only engineer has been selected so you can then drag out and then make the color excuse me okay you can um right click and then the fill so we want it to be red color okay okay so make this red color okay so that that's that for task 16e task 16f open the file rainfall.csv okay so we're going to open the file rainfall okay so we're going to be using this file Okay, so it says create an appropriate graph or chart to show a comparison of the rainfall and average temperatures for each month in only town A. Okay, in only town A. So we are making use of this and this. So I'm going to select this and then press down control and then also select this. Okay, and then I'm going to insert. Okay, so I'm going to be using um, combo chart. Okay, so this is um, what it looks like. So since we are comparing between two values, right? So it's not supposed to be a bar and um, line chart. So it has to be um, both lines. So I'm going to change this series one to line. 
okay then it says um, add a second value axis to the charts for the temperature series okay a second value axis okay so I'm going to click on this axis okay and then okay okay so this is it okay next the question says um, and label sorry and label and scale this axis appropriately okay so we need to label them and scale it appropriately so if we look at um, okay this um, this is series one and this is series two so we have to label this appropriately so I'm going to right click and then select data okay so um, series one okay series one should be um, rainfall okay so this one should be rainfall okay and um, series 2 should be average okay okay so the um, the legend has been um, edited okay and then um, we are asked to scale the axis properly okay scale the axis properly if we look at this here we have 0 to 300 and here we have um, negative 5 to 25 okay so what we are going to do is um, okay um, we're just going to go to the axis options and um, we are going to rescale it okay so this is okay this is actually okay this can be 0 to okay we can make this 250 we can rescale these to 250 so we have a 0 to 250 okay and then for okay for the for the other axis okay so we can um, make this we'll make the major the increment to okay and then we can make the minimum negative 2 Okay, so we can see the minimum is negative 2 and um, we have um, the maximum. Okay, we want the maximum to be 24. Okay, I'm going to change this to 24. Okay, so we have minimum negative 2, maximum 24 and the increment is 2. Okay, so now we need to also add the... Um, the axis labels okay so I'm going to right click and um, click on this plus sign and then axis labels okay so this will be the date okay this will be the date okay on this side we are going to have the um, rainfall rainfall in milli okay milli meters and on this side we're going to have average daily temperature temperature we forgot this Okay, so uh, this will be um, comparison of rainfall and temperature in town A. Okay, so that's it. Okay, you may want to um, adjust the chart so that the data is fully visible it's not all squeezed up okay so that's it for task 16 f task 16 g open the file sales.csv okay the file sales.csv okay so this is the file it says create and appropriately label a graph or chart to show a comparison of the monthly sales income from two branches of a company in Tawara and Port Pe Port Pepper. 
okay so we need to um, create a that would be a bar chart okay because we are comparing between two items okay bar charts inserts and then we choose a bar chart okay so we need to um, label the graph appropriately okay we need to label the graph so the title can be um, okay let's say okay comparison of monthly okay monthly sales okay from tawara and port peepad branches okay um so we need the axis title also so we're going to click on here and then axis title so here is going to be the sales income okay sales income and here is going to be the month okay month okay so the question says display the value axis labels to two decimal places okay we need to display to two decimal places okay so what we can do is okay we can go to numbers okay um just before i get got here so i can just you can right click and format axis okay and then you click on numbers okay so um make it number so that you can display it at two decimal places okay and that's it okay so that is display display the value axis labels to two decimal places so that is it for task 16g task 16h open the file you saved in task 16g okay so the file will saved at task 16g okay edit the value axis labels so that they display as currency in dollars set to two decimal places okay currency in dollars set to two decimal places okay so i'm going to right click format axis okay and then i'll go to number so I'm going to change this from number to currency. Okay, and um, we need to look for dollar. Okay, so dollars. Okay, and of course it should be in two decimal places. Okay, set to two decimal places. Okay, and yeah, that's it. Okay, we can see that it's it displays the value in currency. Okay, and in two decimal places. Okay, so that's all for task 16H. Okay, so that's all for chapter 16. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please do not forget to like, share and subscribe.